<laughs> what the? Why are we at our house now? She's pretty spry for an old lady. <laughs> spry my foot. You couldn't outrun a one-legged turtle with those lungs. Don't start with me, okay? Smoke. <laughs> I mean, that's what killed Joey. Cigarettes? Yeah, he had a cancer. Not that they were actually harmful back then. It's in our inventory now. It's always been in our inventory. A lit one? Yeah. But it's at the end of the inventory. I mean, it's new. <laughs> Same as beginning. Ouch. We'll sit on the couch. No, I. The kid can find her own damn loose change. This is. Does he have like x ray yeah. vision or something? Nobody that old should move that fast. Just keep telling yourself that. Hmm. Joey, she could see you. How could she do that? I don't know. But okay, I think this case go see is a hell of a lot more complicated. Yay! Complicated. Fantastic. The notebook updated. Dear diary. Let's chat a second. What is it, Joey? That old yeah, lady. There's something about her. Well, she has killed someone. Yeah, she but more than that. If she was just an ordinary murderer, I wouldn't care. We just handle the victims of murder, not the murder itself. Got any ideas? Not yet, but she's definitely more than what she seems. Lucky us. <laughs> She's just a crazy lady. I think our reporter friend. You think that about everybody, Joey. Have I ever been wrong? No, you haven't. There you go. This new Looks like our night won't disappoint. Nope. Hey, have you done something different with your hair? What do you mean? I don't know. Something's different. <laughs> I washed it this morning. With shampoo? Yeah. That's what threw me. What? So are we gonna futz around here all night? We got stuff to do. Yeah. Like that doesn't take any time for it to all travel right, so much. Alright, let's get on with it. Yeah. Save! Save! Move you and your dog. Eee! What? What? Conformist. Joey. Uh-huh. Discuss your notes. What do you have to say that about old her? old woman. How could she see you? I don't know. She's drunk. Only folks that can see me are animals and other ghosts. And I don't he think ghosts. she's either. I don't know, Joey. She reminds me of something. Pardon? I can't Oh, there you it. go. Well, if you see her again, you can ask her. I do something. Her mom? I, I don't think so. Nope. Well, her mom's dead. She certainly is interesting. Yeah, interesting. That's why. Did you notice his typewriter? Joey's an air dude. No. What about it? There was dust on it. And she's and a the zombie. paper was blank. That thing hasn't seen much use in a long time. Maybe he uses a pen and paper. Hmm. Maybe. What are we talking about? The Joey or the Joseph Mitchell? There is dust on what? His typewriter. Hasn't been used in a long time. Playing ghost. No more than you, darling. Well, that's it for now. Yeah. What else do we have? The Countess keeps turning up like a bad penny. Is she really a murderer? No. No connection. What do we got? We'll have this. Maybe we can show them to <laughs> the reporter or something. Sorry? Maybe we can show them to the reporter or something. But I guess we had stuff stuck in our inventory for the last game, too. Yeah. This doesn't go anywhere. Can I relax now? Is Joey gonna let me relax? No, we got work to do. Ahem. Sorry. Well then, I guess we're going. Come on. Back to the promenade. Promenade? To the promenade! To try and find something to do with this ghost. We can't go back to...
old lady's house. But we can't go back to New Yorker. <laughs> nice yes, we never tried with her, right? Tried it yourself? Nope. I'm Lauren Blackwell. What's your name? You just need a tip. Hey. You don't have money, though. What are you doing here? Kind of late to be out, don't you think? The dead don't keep normal hours, dear. Why are you kicking me? I think I've forgotten what normal hours are. Hey, mister. Ugh, forget it. No. Hey, mister. You who? I'm talking to you. Hello? He's not hearing you, kid. Ugh. I don't think... <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back. Can we click the? <laughs> I'm talking, Buster. Hey, hey, you let go. Ready? Just what are you doing here? What am I doing? What do you think I'm doing? Get away from me, man! I need to ask you a few questions first. Not now, man. Get off the stage. Stage? Ow! That's how we treat your kind at Johnny Ivory's. Johnny Ivory's? What are you talking about? Hello? Oh, we're dealing with a real sharp tack here. <laughs> how come the one ghost is black? But our blue ghost is blue. The other ghost is pink. Yeah. How come this guy looks at realistic colors? I don't know. Hello. I said, I said let, let go, go of that. that. Donk. I'm Joey. Pleasure to meet you. I don't, I don't care, care who you are. Nobody, Nobody interrupts, interrupts my, my set. set. Mm. I'm gonna talk to you. Or so help me, I'll take this sex and shove it right up your... Give me that! Who or what is Johnny Ivory's? What are you, what are you kidding, kidding me? me? You're crazier, You're crazier than you see. see. Get, Get out of here! here. Oh. Does he have a bloody ghost nose? Maybe. He's not getting beat up. I'm grabbing your sex phone. Hello, I see. Why are you haunting this place? Huh? What are you talking about, man? Get off before security gets you. Get out of here! Funk ow! <laughs> this is fun. So abusive. Let's chat. Yeah, Joey? Is Johnny Ivory a name? Never heard of a name like that. Don't know. There's always the. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Ghosts in the last one, or just two? Two? Or, well, three, technically, with the last guy. The deacon. Including Joey? Because there was oh, the right. girl, and then. I guess we never saw the other. No. Girl. That's weird. Yeah. Whatever. I think so. The nickname style Johnny. Johnny Ivory's Jazz and Cabaret. It's on Bleecker and 7th Avenue. You have Blinker. some jazz, Joey? You mean we finally get to listen to some real music? Call it my special We've been street. listening real music all the whole time. We call them? Yeah, I can. Make a reservation. Busy. I better go over What, there. no voicemail? No one has voicemail. <gasps> No answering machines now. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. Johnny Ivy's. It's so close to our house. Hey. 
Hey, mister. Yes. Got <laughs> For a pretty thing like you, I got several. Huh. So what brings yes. you here on such a sad night? Uh, looking for some company. If you would. Yeah. Just looking for good company. Is that right? Have you found it yet? Not yet. You could say that bad company always follows me around. Oh, ha ha. And Lauren, what's your name? Pleasure is all mine, Lauren. You can call me C. 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 You got it, sister. Is that C like the water? That's C like the chord. The first chord I played, and you never forget your first. Really? Yeah, that's the truth. <laughs> you know any other musicians? I do run in those circles, yeah. Any of them play here? Sometimes we get major gigs here. But me, I'm what you call the dependable type. These fingers can go all night. Love. Too sexual. Oh. Oh, jeez, make it. Stop. You do what? <laughs> it's okay for me to talk to you like this. I don't hear anybody else complaining. Dull night, huh? You could say that. But I think it just got a bit more interesting. Is Can I right? hope so? Yeah. Your lips don't lie. I'm looking for info about a musician. Well. I'll try to help you out. Who is he? I don't know his name. I think he's a sax player. I know lots of sax players, sister. Big guy, kind of chubby, has a beard. Nope, doesn't ring a bell. <laughs> he's dead. Why did she leave that part sax player. Yeah. You sure you don't know him? Like I said, sister, I need a name. I don't suppose you've seen a strange old woman around, have you? This is the village, sister. You see all sorts out here. She calls herself the Countess. Sorry. I don't suppose this is used She called. Sorry. Do you read the New Yorker? Nope. Sorry. Well then. That's it. Yeah. See you around. Anytime, sister. You think Joey can haunt the piano? Me. This one looks interesting. Does it? <laughs> That's him. The Jasmine Ghost from the Promenade. Looks like we're on the right track. How do you tell? Kind of an age difference. <laughs> Don't they all look the same to you white folk? <laughs> the only thing holding up that dress is fate. Pretty girl though. I wonder who she is. It's straps. The only thing holding up pretty girl though. The woman is blocking the piano player. I can't see his face. Courtesy of Jambalaya Records. Yay! Jambalaya. Mm. Might be worth checking out. Rice and Courtesy spice. Of, mm. It's the jam Hmm. This one looks interesting. Is it? Same one? <laughs> so many the same. Hmm. <laughs> yes, it, it's all the same for some reason. Can I talk to you about Jambalaya? Hey, see. Hello there. Hey, C. What's the band in that photograph behind you? That picture is old, sister. It's not that old. Old enough. Before my time is all. Keep going. Do you have a copy of that photograph anywhere? Nope. Sorry. Steal it. But we have the name it's Jambalaya, here. it's just okay. not our notebook. Yeah, no. Somebody is already playing it. I don't know I much about pianos, it. but it seems nice enough. Joey might know something. How am I supposed to play? Have to face facts. My piano playing days are long gone. Oh, mm, nothing. Sounds a bit out of tune. What am I supposed to do? Blow in his ear? He's not really yeah. my type. He's a <laughs> swinger past his prime. Not bad on the piano, though. I just wish he'd keep his eyes on the keys. What? Why? Why are you so jealous? Hey, this is a, a classic joint territorial. face. We ought to come here more often. Hey, this is a cl We ought to come. Can I talk to Joey? Uh, no. I'll talk to him when we're alone. Talk to I'm him again. See. Hey, C. Hello. Oh. See you around. This piano is out of tune. Yeah. This place is empty. Good. The less people. Can you walk there. to the right? 
gaze in. Yeah, that's left. He does a scroll. Yeah, that's left. Steal some booze. I'm not here. This place is good. Well, let's go look up Jambalaya Records. Go. Oh. Back to the house. We just take the phone book with us. Yeah. Be a lot easier. In our phone. In our phone. I'm not ready for a nap. <laughs> There's no entry for that. Well then, how do you spell jambalaya? Thank you. Did it, did it. Jam. Jambela? Jambalaya. Just try Jambalaya without the There's records. No I don't know, we might be doing it wrong, but I can't remember. There's no entry for that. I'm pretty sure it's still it wrong. Talk to the ghost. Ghost. Come on, let's get out of here. Right oh. behind you. I kicked on the door already. Not the J Joe ghost. Oh, this the one? Yeah. Oh, my Ugh, Forget it. How am I he supposed to? He's a ghost. I'm not. Gotta believe. Gotta believe. I'll be back. Hello again. I said. Nope. Nope. Why are you? Huh? Get off! Get off! Get off! Ah! Should we ask him about the countess? Mm. Hello. I guess. Have you seen any strange old ladies lurking around here? Old lady. You seen the old lady? Yeah, you know her. What do you know? Nothing. Nothing. I don't know nothing about no old lady. Get out of here! It's a good sound. Please! Ow! Oh. Time to spell check. Yeah. Hmm? I don't know how to spell it. Either. Yeah, of Jambalaya Records. I missed the hmm. A. Might be worth checking out. Jamaba? What? Jam, Val, Aya. Dee 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 dee. Back to the house. You doing okay? I'm cozy. Yeah. Is it okay? Uh huh. Oh no, not the telephone. Can we call Jack? I'm not ready. Why is Jack so random? Here we go. Jungle Liar Records, 240 Essex Street. I'll jot that down. Busy. Busy. It's busy this time of night. I better go over mm -hmm. there. Why is she doing everything at night? Is she doing the day. Let's get out of here. Right behind you. Ghosts are extra invisible in the day. Yeah, extra invisible. Oh, what's so far? Two days later. Open. Good evening. Dwayne. Good evening to you. I'm Dwayne. Lauren Blackwell. Oh dear. I was hoping you could help me. I'll do my best. What can I do for you? Uh, Ask about everything. So what is this place? This? This is a music agency. We manage bands, do promotions, things like that, you know? Well, Why is he Caribbean? Why not? Really mean. I don't know. You do this all by yourself? Yep. One man operation. That's me. What sort of music do you manage? Mostly jazz and reggae. Nobody famous. 
Most small timers have trouble getting their foot in the door. Getting gigs in small clubs, helping with recording sessions, you know. The basic stuff that musicians don't want to deal with. You're up in Thank late. You, obvious. Really? Yeah, I suppose I am. I learned to work musician hours, you know. You play a gig at night and have a problem? You want someone to call? Your clients have lots of problems, do they? Don't get me started. Doesn't. There you go. For a sax player. Well, I can definitely help you there. You looking for a standing or something more long term? Oh no, sorry. I'm not with a band. I'm looking for a specific sax player. Well, if he's a client of mine, I can help you. What's his name? That's the problem. I don't know. But he's in a photograph that your company took. Really? Can I see it? I don't have it. Then I don't know what to say. <laughs> really? About that sound. Like a you'll have. Guess we just have to go back. Now we might have the option to take the photograph. Since she didn't have the foresight to do it before. Hey, can you come with me to Johnny Ivory? <laughs> oh, what's that? that photograph I told you about. I wish I could, you know. But I have a ton of work to do. Maybe another time? Yeah, sure. Wink. Wink. Yeah. I'm just looking if there's anything else I can click. I don't Hold on. Is not on. Does your mother call herself the Countess? Mm, not recently, no. <laughs> do you read the, the new no. So you've never heard of a reporter named Mitchell then? Nope. Well then. Ah! I keep on doing that. Yeah. Thanks for that. I might be back later. Nope. Alright. Outside. Maybe we can talk to Joey. Are you going to talk to Joey? It's the front door. I better wait till we're alone. Back to Johnny Ivy's. Maybe we have to go home, hey, Joey, and Hello. talk to him and then tell him to do a trick. Guess so. I felt that. Yeah. He's in the Is he now? Yeah. That picture is old, sir. It's not old enough. Don't know who. Why I want it. Why won't even let us ask him? See you around. Uh, I'll talk to you. He looks right at home. Click. He needs something. Hmm. So, how am I supposed to have to face f Out of two? Photos? Hmm, this. It's our sax playing. Take a closer look. Whoever that is, I can't see him. Especially with such a pleasant distraction getting in the way. Well then. I guess we're gonna have to... Nope, I can't... <laughs> Go to the apartment and see if... Talk to Joey. What's the deal? I am so tired. I just want to relax and smoke a cigarette. Since when do you need an excuse to smoke a cigarette? Good point. I guess we'd better get out there and finish this thing. After you. I guess we'd better- After- <laughs> Any thoughts on her- No more than- He likes his music. I doubt- Yeah. Any other Sweet. thoughts on Mr. Mitchell? I don't know, I can't get a read on the guy. Normally I'm good at reading faces, but him? He's either a born straight man or he's hiding something. He's straight. Can we, is there any phones? Phones? That's yeah. It for now. Yeah. Do we have to look up numbers every time? Three? Do we have to look up numbers every time just to call stuff? I think so. There's no... Let's chat a sec. What is it, Joey? So, are we gonna f we got some Yeah. Looks like our disappointment. Nah. Well. Alright. Yeah. No special. Are you even 
It's really weird that we can't even just ask the ghost. Yeah. Like, what is your name? I want to buy your album or something. I don't know. <laughs> so, tune a piano. Or get the guy to come to the Ivory Club somehow. Yeah. He just said he was busy, right? Well, unless we can get the guy to come to the Ivory Club because the piano's out of tune. So I was thinking it's a problem of some sort. Guess maybe if you talk to him again, you forget everything and you can say you're in a band. I don't need to. It's summer. Come on, right? Nothing we can learn here. It looks pretty hard at work. Not from out. Come on, Vivi. Go in. Hi again. Hi yourself. Again. The notebook is so limiting. Not. Why is the notebook so limiting? I need. Go talk to the New Yorker, I guess. Thanks for the I might be. Nope. Are you okay for time and stuff? Do you want to call it quits for the night? I'm okay. Are you okay? It's cute. It's fun watching you play. Hmm. Gotta go somewhere. Yes. Twice in one evening. Come on in, sit down. Here. Have you heard these reports? Saxophone, I'm afraid not. I haven't been to that. Do you know anything about a strange old woman wandering the streets? I've met plenty of strange old women, Miss Blackwell. Some stranger than others. Can you give me some more details? She calls herself the Countess. Mr. Mitchell? I'm thinking. No. I can safely no, say I've never set eyes on this woman. I'm sorry. Really? Let's ask you again. Are you sure you've never met a woman like that? No, I've never met a woman like that. So tell me about I bet, tell me Yeah, I hope you're my friend. Have you heard Sack? I'm I am Well I talk about anything else. I think that's all Alright, you have a good night now. No, I haven't gained anything. Can I look up the Countess in the phone book? I guess so. Maybe we can watch TV now or something. Might have to phone like the Ivory Club or Jambalaya Records again. Maybe it won't be busy. Look up. There's no entry for that. There's no entry for that. Let's look up the watch yet. E.T. There's no entry for I already looked that up. Oh. Nothing. Jambalaya Records? We already looked it up. I know, but... I already looked that up. In the phone anyway? <laughs> nope. Him. Sorry. I can't. Uh I have no idea. It can't possibly have anything to do with the quality of the air in here. I'm sure I can nurse this thing back to health. Just needs a little more time. I can't understand. I have no. It. Hmm. 
Hmm. The Countess keeps turning. She. No. No. Countess in New Yorker? Mm. Maybe there's a connection, but I can't see it. Why would I need a can? Can you light the candle in a bottle? No. What would I need a candle for? You need more cigarettes, is that why we're stuck? Yeah. I've already got a pack. Should last me till the end. Lauren's hmm. I don't know. An old coat I picked up at the thrift store. My boots. Good for rain and bad weather. My television. It's the latest mo It's my phone. It's my phone book. Today's paper. It's tabloid crap, but it gives us most of our leads. I should really clean this plate later. That's the for when I sleep or watch TV. I don't know. I tried growing flowers in there once. Now, it's an ashtray. <laughs> you can light up cigarettes if you want. That's interesting. At least we know it doesn't kill her. And she just dropped it. Off the balcony. Yeah, off the balcony. We take a picture of someone? I don't know. Maybe. Did we take a picture of the... Of the... Oh no, we didn't. Of what? The ghost is gone. No, we didn't take a picture of the picture. Uh, what? Come on, let's what? get out of here. I see what you're saying. <laughs> I don't really understand the camera use. With its I, I don't things. I don't understand it either. Hmm. It's my trusty Polaroid camera. It's my huh? it's my it's my Yeah, can't it's you use it? Exit first. Use it on the wall. It's my trusty I can't it's use my, it. It's my. You left or right both. I'm clicking both. It's my. Tr it's my. It's my. You don't understand. It's my. I'm so confused. What? Piano player. Can't we take it out? It's my. It. It. It's my. Get it. I'm so confused. This is a look I've been using. It's my. Maybe you like need to pull the picture out of it somehow. It's my. Now it's working for some reason. I've... Yeah, no better there. Say cheese. It's totally so. Check your phone first. Uh... Have that picture now. It's the photo from. You can, you know. <sighs> that was so bruh. Bruh. Hi again. Hi. Thanks for that. I might be. No. Do you know this band? Oh yeah, I remember those guys. The C Sharps. C Sharps. That was the band's name. Yeah, I used to manage them. You used to manage them, but not anymore. Nah, been about 
eight, ten years. Time flies, you know. No book update. It's the photo from Johnny. Finally, the promenade ghost once played in a band called the Sea Sharks. Uh huh. Hi again. Hi. Tell me about what them. What can you tell me about the Sea Sharks? Oh, they were strictly lounge jazz, you know. But I saw them doing more. They really gelled, you know. Gelled? In tune with each other. And that lady had a voice like velvet. What <laughs> happened to them? No, no. They disappeared. Got them a few gigs and cut a record. Guess they just moved on or just broke up. It happens, you know. So you don't know what happened to the Sea Sharks. I don't know. Alright, this humble bundle wants you to prove that you're human with a captcha. When you're just trying to give him money. So you don't know what happened? I, they moved on or... What was this? Ah, uh, well, it was a long time ago. Long time ago. I'm not much on individual names. I just remember the band. I only deal with the leader, you know? So who is the leader? Uh, sorry. You don't remember that either? <laughs> it was a while... Are you sure you don't know this? Yeah, so quiet fella. Born to play the sax. That's all I know. Well then, thanks for that. Goodbye. I might be back. Nope. Let's go back to Johnny things. Talk to see if he was a jazz player. No, that's not where I want to go. Johnny. Here's Johnny. Hey, Johnny Ivory. Sorry? Johnny Ivory. Hey. Do you know anything about the Sea Sharks? The Sea Sharks? Nah. Nah, I've never heard of them. Sure? Are you sure? There's a picture of them right behind you. Lots of pictures appear on that wall. I just work here. I don't know its entire history. Now, you mind? Yay, to finish. I don't know. See you around. Anytime, sister. Whatever. Your piano's still out of tune. Out of tune. I'm grabbing your saxophone. We. Hello, I. Tell me about the C sharps. What are you, what are you crazy? crazy? Get out of here! What? Get out of here! Oh! What? You just call security. Why didn't that not work? Hello. I. Tell me about. What do you get out? Get. Okay. You have to be Lauren from the picture. Hey, do you recognize this photograph? Hello? Nice try, sweetheart. But I think a more... I give it to Joey? It's the photo... Hello. I Tell me about what do you get out of here? Oh. Why is this not working? Science. You need silence. Science. Hey. Hello. Nice, but I think I don't think he'd. Want it's just j floating over my. He's playing a saxophone. I don't even think he knows we're here. No. I don't see. Do I have to look up the C sharps in the promenade book? ghost. <laughs> I'd have to. Ah! That's 
just seems ridiculous, sweetie. There's no entry for that. There's no entry for that. Well, try that. Let's just talk. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. I'm all. Hi, Jack? Nothing springs to mind. What? What is that? What? what? It says, hi, Jack. Jack? Nothing springs to mind. I'm so confused. Glitch. Any thoughts on- No more than he likes it, I doubt. Hi. Jack? Nothing springs to mind. Is Jack? That's it for now. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, Joey? I wonder if the C-sharps were any good. Guess we'll never know now. I wonder if this- Guess- Dead end. I guess we go talk to the New Yorker. All right. Yeah. yeah. Cause there's nothing else to. Do. I'm not carrying that around. <laughs> Come on. Let's... Right. Okay. So I guess we have to ask the news reporter about the C sharps. But can't really think about anything. Yes. Three times in one night. I'm becoming downright popular. Come in, have a. S You're not popular. I just want to ask you about stuffs. Have you ever heard the C shops? They were a jazz. You've heard of them? Yes. Yeah. Can you tell me anything about them? Sorry, I've never actually heard them play. In my line of work, you just, <laughs> just pick these things up. Oh, what? Keep asking. Yep. Have you ever heard of the C They were a jazz band, weren't they? You've heard of them? Yeah. Can you tell me anything about them? Sorry, I've never actually heard them play. In my line of work, you just pick these things up. Pick these things up, really? Hmm. Have you heard of them? Pianos. Um, pianos. Are you sure? No, I... I well, think that's then. all. All right, you have a good night. Why would he have heard of them? No, I don't see it. The promenade ghost went. I don't know what to do, see? Yep, I don't know. It doesn't need to be cleaned out. Hints. Maybe. Maybe. Hey, Joey. What's the deal? I had to do it for every other game. Mm -hmm. Hi. Nothing's free. Any thoughts? No more than you like, Meg. That's it for now. Yeah. yeah. I should probably do something really inane. You done everything twice with, uh... Jambalaya? Right. Pretty sure. I kept on clicking on everything. If you try using Joey in there, maybe there's something he can click on or something. No, I haven't tried using Joey. It's the front. Burning the midnight oil, eh? He's either really dedicated or has nothing worth going home to. I can't talk to the guy. Two music joints in one evening? I'm liking this case more and more. Is that sarcasm or genuine? Look at her. Genuine. Not a flicker of interest on her face. She wouldn't recognize good music if it kissed her. Apparently this... Is the last case in the game. I can't talk. Burning the midnight. He's either really dedicated or has nothing worth going home to. We did the note of war. This is a little. Re I've been using it to. Re well. Whatever. Hi again. Hi, Yosef. 
I don't. No. Does your mother? Mm. See. So I don't. They move. See. So I they. Are you sure you don't know? Yeah. Th sorry. Quiet. Are you? Yeah. Sorry. I don't think I quiet, fella. Thanks for that. Nope. What was the name of this band? They were the C Sharps. Where to go? We have to look them up in the phone book. Joey can examine the piano. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh oh. Uh, I'll talk. Really? How did I miss that? What do we have here? He's written something at the top of the sheet. Property of Cecil Sharp. Aw, how so sharp. sweet. Maybe his mommy signed it for him. Casey. Hello there. Is your name Cecil Sharp? Now who went and told you that? Oh, you could say a little bird told me. Tweet tweet. Well, you won't go <laughs> tell nobody, will you? Lips are sealed. Cecil. No. So oh man. That hurts, sister. That really does. <laughs> Sorry. So, oh, that <laughs> about that, yeah, are you sure? Positive, about yeah, are you positive? About this, well, I s leave it. Why is he getting so defensive about the sea sharks? Oh. What? Why examine the sheet music? You want me to examine it again? You the combine things. I can't combine it while he's there. Well, can I? Well, you're talking to me, can't. Cecil Sharp, the C Sharps. Cute, real cute. Hey, Suck you. Hello. Were you ever in a band called the C Sharps? What makes <laughs> you think that? Um, just the name, C-sharp, Cecil-sharp. It's a pretty strong coincidence, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I guess. Hey. So, what's your answer? No. Just bend it over. <laughs> you sure that you never played in a band called the C-sharps? How many times do I have to tell you? Back to the ghost. See you around. Uh, I'll talk to you. Oh, the exit. No, not the ghost. That's ghost. I'll be back. Hello again. I said, I said let, let go, go of that. that. Let go of that. I don't suppose you know anything about the C sharps and Cecil Sharp, do you? Get off the stage! What's wrong with you? Get out of here! I don't understand. Ah! Oh. I wonder if there's like something we're supposed to do. Well, oh, I wonder if we can look up Cecil Sharp. The phone book. Hello. I I don't suppose. Get. What? Get. Oh. Alright. <laughs> Going home. Look up Cecil Sharp. Oh. Just keep talking to Cecil. Yes, there's a Cecil Sharp listed. Sharpie. Just Sharpie. a number, no address. 
plain piano. No answer. No answer. Back to Johnny. Talking to him? Okay, see. So Hello? Sure. And the ghost. I doubt that. Yeah. Are you positive? You sure that you. Honey. You sure that. Honey. You sure that. Honey. The ghost. I doubt that. Yeah. Are you positive? You sure. Honey time. I doubt that. Yeah. Are you positive? Earth because you see. This is you see. She calls. Sorry. You sure that you honey time? Are the ghost toys in room? Yeah. Are you positive? About yeah. Are you positive? About yeah. Are well, you positive? Yeah. Are you positive? Yeah. Are you positive? Yeah. Are you positive? You honey. You honey. You honey. You honey. You honey. You sure? Honey. It tells lots of times. See you around. In it. Somebody is already. I don't know much about people. I can't just take the sheet music. That would be rude. It's his sheet music. He's barely looking at it. He must know the song by heart. Hey, uh, Joey. Can... I'll talk to him when we're alone. Just some sheet music. Nothing special. He blew it off. Blow it off. Nothing's changed since the last time. Nope. I... Hmm. Whoever that is, especially is there some whoever kind of that is. Special order. It says talk to him about C sharps and then twice about the saxophone ghost. Sharp in the band, the C sharps. Cecil Sharp. C sharps. Yes! I knew I heard the name from somewhere. So, do you remember him now? Oh, yeah, he was the band leader. Band A leader. genius on the piano. So, Cecil Sharp was in the band, the C sharps. Yeah, that was definitely him. Are you sure you don't? Yeah, why? Okay. What this one? Are you sure? Yeah, quiet. So see. Yeah. Thanks for that. I might be. No problem. Well, back to the place. Must be annoying to go uptown and downtown all the time. So far away. Hey, C. Hello. I want to talk to you about the C-sharps. I said- I know what you said, and I know that you're lying. So shut the hell up and listen. I spoke to your old manager. He confirmed who you are. You spoke to Dwayne? Yes, I did. That- Fine. You got me. <laughs> yes, I used to run a band called the C-sharps. It was a rotten time in my life, and I'd just as soon forget it. Why are you stirring up these old ashes, huh? I have my reasons. Yeah, sure you do. About that sax player. Yeah. He's in that photo behind you. So I know he's with the C Sharps and that you know him. What is this? You from that damn magazine? Magazine? The New Yorker. You a reporter? No. So who is he? You just don't quit, do you? You want to know so badly? His name is Isaac Brown. Isaac Brown? Yes. You happy now? Ecstatic. Great. What can you tell me about Isaac Brown? Him? He's a bum. 
a drunk, a nobody, a lowlife. He's also dead. And how did he die? Someone strangled him to death with his bare hands. Isaac must have squealed like a pig. You don't oh, seem very upset by this. No, Countess. last time someone asked about Isaac, it was some reporter from The New Yorker. He came along, asked his questions, then BAM! Isaac's dead. Really? Yeah, so forgive me if I don't take kindly to pushy questions. Who is the reporter? I don't know. Mitchell something? Slow talker. Drove me crazy. You think he killed Isaac? I just played the piano. I don't think anything. Especially not the past. Whoever did Isaac, the son of a bitch had it coming. So please, just get out of here. About Isaac Brown. Leave it, lady. The past is dead, gone, and buried. I don't suppose you. This is you see. She calls herself the Countess. Sorry. About that report. I know nothing else. Southern guy talked real slow, asked a bunch of questions. <laughs> just leave it. Okay? Where you going? See you later. Oh. Yeah. Do 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 do. Hello again. I. S You're Isaac Brown, aren't you? What's it to you, man? So you are Isaac Brown? How do you know me? Get away! Get out of here! Punk! Ow! We need to go talk to the reporter. Nope, I, I don't leave here. Come in. Do 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 do. I'd like to talk about Isaac Brown. Ah, uh, Isaac. You knew Isaac? Sort of, yes. I'm looking into his death. Really? That was almost five years ago. Why the sudden interest? Let's just say that I have a personal interest in clearing it up. Go. Oh, Anything else you can. T Why do you want to write about him? I don't want to go too in-depth. Out of respect, you understand? Sure. I was drawn to him for the same reasons I'm drawn to anybody I write about. I felt he had a story that could reach people, enrich them, perhaps learn from. Really? Miss Blackwell, spend some time talking to the poor and the downtrodden. Walk down the Bowery and speak to the half-wits and the have-nots. In one hour, you'll learn more from them than you would from a lifetime of school. So what was Isaac's story? I know he played in a band called the C-Sharps. Then something obviously went wrong. What was it? Listen, have you tried asking Mr. Sharp? Yes. He's not talking. I don't blame him. He's probably feeling guilty. Guilty? Why? He has his reasons. Could you, uh, I don't know, tell me what those reasons are? I can't do that. Of course he can't. Mr. Mitchell, I need to know what happened. Listen, I don't like this. I don't feel comfortable talking about people without their consent. I won't say any more about Isaac or his sister. Sister? Sister? Uh, please, I'm not going to say any more. Nope, book update. Who was Isaac's sister? I told you, Did not another word. Who was Isaac? I told About Isaac Brown. I told Are well, you sure? No, I've... Well... I'd like to read your piece about Isaac. Ah, uh, well, I'm afraid I can't help you there. I never published it. You didn't? No, it seemed a bit in bad taste. Since when do reporters care about bad taste? Since when do reporters care about bad taste? Ah, uh, you don't have a high opinion of journalists, do you? Well, you hear things. Oh no, don't worry about it. I'm well aware of the stereotype. I have written about deceased persons before when I felt it was in the public's interest. But Isaac, well, I felt the man deserved some peace. If you felt his story could reach people, enrich them as you say, why didn't you publish the story? Listen, Miss Blackwell, 
Isaac didn't just die. He was murdered. Someone reached around his neck and strangled the life right out of him. That puts a bit of a damper on the story I wanted to tell. So nobody will hear the story? All my notes on him have been destroyed. Isaac's story might not have reached the people. It <sighs> reached me. Maybe that's enough. Who would- I told- I think that's all- Alright, you have a good night. Well then, that was just... Here, I guess. We combine these. So Isaac Brown had a sister. The plot thickens. See what? I need to speak to you about Isaac's sister. You? That's it! You've crossed the line, sister. It was fun for a while, but now it's time for you to leave. Ooh, now <laughs> you've done it. Let's see. Amos, we made him mad. We asked him about his sister. Or Isaac's sister. And now, what do we do? Should we show contempt? Temper? Contrition? Never mattered in the past what we did. What are you going to do? Throw me out? Oh, is that a challenge? Don't tempt me, lady. Leave. Okay, this is me leaving you alone. What? No! You no. really have a way with the fellas, kid. Ah, uh, don't sweat it. His bark is worse than his bite. <laughs> you just Not don't give up, do you? That's me. Um... No. I really need to know about Isaac's sister. It's very important. Yeah, well, we all have problems. And my problem is you. So leave. He used to like okay. us. <laughs> well, we'll... Did update my notes. I'm just gonna talk to him. Look, Fun. what? Hello. You want Did to forget the past, you say? Yeah. Then what's with the picture behind you? If you wanted to forget the past, why'd you keep the picture? I have my reasons. Leave it alone. Just leave me alone. Fine, I'm going. No, I'm not going. Ever I'm think going. of moonlighting in PR? You're so good at- Seriously, whatever you're doing, you can't handle it this way. Why not? Oh, look. You up for talk- Look. I'm sorry. Oh, you're sorry. Sorry and enough, sister. Leave. I'll leave, but I'll be back. Take your picture again. Stop and soon as Piano Boy sees you, he gets all bent out of shape. You won't get anywhere this way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> trying to do anyway. We I don't know. Talk. I'm just trying to get the options, I guess. What oh. options? What are you doing? It keeps on new options keep on popping up. Okay. Lip Buster, I've had it up to here with this. I need information, it's stuck in your head, and I plan on getting it out. Less talk and more get the hell out. Okay. Well then. You're hopeless. A shame I can't talk to him, I know his- Why don't you talk to him? I know that expression. Only time a man gets a look like that is when he's hung up over a woman. Go easy on him, huh? I think he cares more about that gal than he lets on. How am I supposed to have to face- Hmm. Sounds- Just some sheet music. Nothing special. I know that ex- Only go eat. I think he cares- Nope. Well, to the ghost. I don't think this is gonna work at all, but whatever. Seems. Yeah. Hello again. I see. We are gonna ask you about your sister. Tell me about your sister. Huh? huh? What you want with my sis? Nothing. I just want... You stay away from my sister, here. You here? Alright, Mac, relax. Get out of here! Oh. Ow! 
I've already talked to him so many times. He says it's not working. You didn't do anything after that. What do you mean? After you talked to him with Joey, I mean, or Joey. Or, yeah, Joey. I didn't talk to him with Joey. Look at him, Joey. Look what the. We need to talk. Talk about love. State the obvious. You loved her, didn't you? Of course I loved her. She was our heart and soul. I would have. Damn you, woman. Damn you. I just want to play this piano and forget she ever existed. Why don't you just leave me alone? Look, obviously something's wrong. Why don't you try talking about it? What is this? Some kind of psychotherapy? You here to get me to open up about my feelings? I'm here for Isaac. He's not worth it. And neither are you. Just get out of here. Fine, I'm fine. Darling, dear, you ought maybe I can be. Oh. <laughs> <She> just <died. laughs> Hello. So what happened, C? It's very important that you tell me. All right. I don't know who you are or why you're so interested, but you're never gonna leave me alone, are you? No, I won't. You were in a band together, right? Yeah, we had a band. Smart girl. Then she died. Then he died. End of story. How did you meet Isaac's sister? First of all, her name was Sarah. I was looking to start a band, and I saw them perform together. She could sing like it was magic. Such energy, such life, such a waste. What happened to Sarah? She got sick, pneumonia or something. No. Started coughing one day and wouldn't stop. She got better after a while, but something happened to her voice. Doctor said she would never sing again. After that, the spark just went out. She hung on for a few months, but she just lost the will to live. Anything else you can tell me about Sarah? I love that woman. Even when she lost her voice, I would have given up everything for her. Heck, I would have even let her brother live with us. I should have told her. About Sarah. I told please. What was Isaac really like? That fat bastard. He was good on the sax, but that was the end of his good points. He drank, he was violent, he was useless in every other way. But Sarah could calm him down. She was the only one. If it wasn't for Sarah, I never would have kept him around. Hmm. What happened to Isaac after Sarah died? He went to pieces. What do you think? Oh, he couldn't cope. Drank way too much. Started fights during gigs. I tried to stick with him out of respect for Sarah, but... Let's face it, he was a big, dumb embarrassment. So you cut ties with Isaac? Completely. Told him he was a drunk and a lowlife and wasn't worth the peanuts I paid him. Which was, let's face it, totally true. What happened? He beat me senseless is what happened. Knocked me out with the sacks I bought for him. Then he became a <laughs> bum. Dunk. Spent the rest of his life living on the streets of Roosevelt Island. Till he got killed by some drifter. It can't be you don't know who killed Isaac? Yes, I killed him. Oh, come on. No, I did. I'm not the one who put my hands around his neck or choked him to death, but I killed him just the same. You shouldn't be so hard on yourself. I know that. My brain knows that. But my heart won't listen. Can you tell me any- No, I- Hmm. I about that I know not southern guy. Just leave. Can you tell me? No. I don't suppose- This is the- You s- She called- Sorry. About s- I told please. E See you later. Yeah. You know, all this talk reminds me of something. Sarah and Isaac would always play this song. Really? Yeah. A duet. At the end of every show. She'd sing and he'd play the saxophone? No, she'd actually play the piano if you can believe it. She wasn't great, but she loved playing with Isaac. And Isaac loved that silly song. They never let me join them, but that was okay. It was kind of sweet, in a way. Oh, well. 
music. Thank you for sheet music. I can't just take that would be it's his sheet music. She's barely looking at it. Nothing's changed since. Just some sh nothing special. See, so what? What was the duet that Isaac and Sarah used to play? Oh, that. It was just a short little thing. Isaac would just improv the whole thing. But Sarah's was always the same. With something like. After Sarah died, Isaac would play gigs, but refused to leave the stage. He'd blow on his sax playing anything that came to mind, feet planted like a statue. He'd just keep playing? He'd play forever if I didn't get four guys to drag him off. I think, I think he was waiting for Sarah to play with him. He was supposed to finish each show with her and, well, in his <laughs> heart he refused to believe she was dead. Could you play that? Yeah, sure. So, what are we supposed to do? Sing that to her? Yeah, sing that to her. Or to him? See, so. What? About. I totally need yeah. See you later. Yeah. What? Could you play that song again? Yeah, sure. Why not? The timer gives up. Oops. The action's going on. What are you doing? I think I've recorded enough. Oh dear. I don't think he'd want... that the count is killed. Just leave everything to us. Here, just take this. Whatever you say. Hold on tight. This is the fun part. Less dramatic than the other one. Still does that, though. Hi, Isaac. Hey, this is it. 
Yep, eternity, the white light, the passage into the next world. Yeah, keep your socks. Yep. I still can't believe I'm dead. Crazy old lady, she killed me. Old lady? Yeah. Says she wanted to help me. Then, she chose me. Why'd she want to go and do a thing like that? I'm sorry, I wish I knew. I don't think it matters anyway. It's time I join my sis. Just head into the light. Hey, son. You've been real kind. Not like your friends, sorry for the crap over here. <laughs> right. Another okay. day, another spirit gone to their rest. Hmm. Rest. Well, that's a nice word. Working morning, Greg. Yep. Yeah. Gotta go to work. Where, where is she? Alright. Yeah, fine. I'm exhausted. Call it a night? Sounds good to me. You? Like clockwork. Seating. You saved him! Yeah, sure we did. No thanks to you. We've got some questions for you, lady. Why did you kill Isaac and Mavis? I didn't kill them. I'm like you. You're nothing like us. We don't kill. I help spirits into the next world, like you. You mean spirits. you're a medium? Yes. But you can't be. I am like you. Wait. I'm like no, you. This doesn't make any sense. Why are you killing people? I save people. I don't hurt them. Maybe they're the same person. Get back here! Get here. Stupid old hag. Let's get after her. <laughs> back home. That didn't work. God damn it. Your nose okay? That lamppost should not have been there. Oh. <laughs> This is what it teaches us. To the talking. Feeling better? I'm so confused, Joey. I feel like the answer is on the tip of my tongue. I just can't figure it out. Well, let's chat for a while. Brainstorm a bit. Maybe we'll come up with something. Use gameplay. Yep. She's a medium like me. It makes no sense. It does make sense, actually. She's not an animal or another ghost. The only way she could see me is if she was a medium like you. Why would she kill? Why would a medium kill? Maybe she doesn't think of it as killing. She did say she helped people, saved them. By killing them? Maybe she felt they were better off dead? I don't think so. Davis and Isaac were sad mixed up people. But they didn't deserve to die. She, maybe she gave her spirits. Why was she killing living people? I don't know. <laughs> is she my future? What do you mean? That woman, the countess, or whatever she's called. Is that what happens to mediums when they get old? I, I don't know, darling. I really don't. But I won't <laughs> let that happen to you. You have my word on that. Yeah. You just said. In the hospital for 25 years. She's a medium. Where is her spirit guide? You know, I wondered that myself. <gasps> I'm your connection to the spirit world. The Countess, or whoever she is, doesn't have that. Or at least none that we can see. Is it possible to be a medium without a guide? I don't think so, sweetheart. That's one thing I'm sure of. Medium and guide. That's how it works. What do you know? Who? What could have happened to her spirit guide? I don't know. I thought you couldn't leave my side. I know. Either her spirit guide managed to escape, or... Or what? Or it was killed. Is that possible? Killed? I don't know. I don't think I want to know. Yes. So what could her connection be? Dunno. Something has to connect her to the spirit world. It's not another ghost or we would see it. So it must be something else. Something that her has a connection to everything we've seen. Or someone. That's it. The Countess connects these two cases. There has to be something or someone else that has the same connection. Mitchell. Joseph Mitchell? Bingo. The reporter? How could he have this kind of power? I don't know how he <laughs> got the power, but it all fits. 
He wrote about both Mavis and Isaac, and the Countess killed both of them. He seems like the best candidate. But it doesn't make any sense. Think about it. You're a medium. What is it that mediums do? Do do do. Deal with Joey. Listen to misogynistic ghosts all day. Haha. Look, I'm trying to be serious for once. Even misogynistic. I maybe. I don't know. Maybe the boss. We help spirits into the next world. Exactly. He's just been kind of pushy a with everyone. needs a guide. Hers is gone. Somehow Mitchell fills in the gap. Our countess is being told through Mitchell's writing to help certain spirits into the next world. It's not her fault they're still alive. You mean? I think you get the picture. Oh God. It's just sick. It makes sense though. How is this possible? There's only one way to find out. It's time we paid our friend Mitchell one more visit. Got to save. Save. Wow. Or save. Joey. I'm all. Any other thoughts? I don't know. Normal. He's either. That's it for now. Yeah. We listen to music yet? Ahem. Sorry. Why not? Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind. Let's see. Da da. Yes. 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 Miss Black? Hello again, Mr. Mitchell. I was just about to head home. Oh, I'll just be a second. Well, if you insist, you have a seat. Thanks, but I'd rather stand. Go on, let him have it. Mind if I smoke? Well, actually... Thanks. <laughs> Miss Blackwell, my patience is wearing thin. My family is waiting for me. Tell me what you want. You finished your writing for the day, Mr. Mitchell? Yes, yes I have. And now I'm going home. He's full of hot air. The page is blank. You haven't <laughs> written anything today, have you? Why do you say that? The paper is blank. What? How do you know that? I have exceptional, exceptional. eyesight. There's dust. Don't forget the dust. And there's dust on the typewriter. Well, can't contradict <laughs> you there. So? So, I don't think that's any of your business, Miss Blackwell. Now, if you'll excuse me. I guess so. I don't know. Mr. Mitchell, two people are dead. So I gathered. You wrote about both of them. Yes, I did. You don't find anything suspicious about that. I've written about hundreds of people over 30 years. The fact that two of them happen to be dead does not surprise me. It's just a coincidence. Funny thing about my life, Mr. Mitchell? If something looks like a coincidence, it normally isn't. Well, I hate to disappoint you. Ooh, look at the sweat on this guy's brow. If he ain't lying, <laughs> I'm dying. So to speak. No, you are a not. very good liar. And you are poking your nose into things you don't understand. You'd be surprised at what I understand, Mr. Mitchell. Try me. Who are you, anyway? You come in, out of the blue, and bring up all this. All of what? I don't know. I... I honestly don't know. I write about people and they die. Can you understand that? Can you? My whole life I've been driven to write about people. Now I kill them instead. Why is this happening? I think it's a penance of some kind. I've shared the intimate details of people's lives with the world. Perhaps I revealed one secret too many. I don't think about it anymore. I just come to work like nothing's wrong. Everyone's been very polite so far, but I'm sure the ball will drop someday. Where's the You're not a murderer, Mr. Mitchell. No, I'm not. Five years back, I tried to write about a man. An old man in a bar. He was killed the next day, choked to death. I didn't think anything of it at the time. Then I wrote about another man, Mr. Isaac Brown. You know him. He died the same way. Still figured it was just a coincidence. But then it happened with Mavis Wilcox. For the third time in a row. No, I didn't kill them. Not on purpose. But if I wrote a fourth time, that would be murder. Plain and simple. You've done <laughs> nothing wrong. 
There's a woman called the Countess. She kills whoever you write about. A Countess? Killing people that I write about. That's a tall story. And that's a lot to take in. Why would she do something like that? How did this happen? Probably because of your connection to humanity. I don't know. You said probably. So you're not sure? Not as such, no. Well then. I appreciate you trying, but I prefer <laughs> you left well enough alone. <laughs> don't you want to write again? Oh yes. But people are safe as long as I don't write about anything real. I've always wanted to try out a fiction. Had a story in my head for years. I'll probably give it a whirl, see how it goes. But no more deaths. Not on my watch. Doesn't mean to be a hero. Oh, you gonna do the whole ethnic thing. Can't leave it alone. I can't leave it alone, Mr. Mitchell. Oh, rest assured you can. You seem yeah. like a capable young lady, and I'm sure you think you know what's what, but I don't want any more deaths on my conscience. <laughs> I'm trying to help you. And I never asked for it. People die when I write, so I don't write. Yeah. The problem solved. If you won't help me, I'll have to go to the police. Oh, and tell them what? All those deaths, all killed the same way, so soon after you met them? I'm sure they'd be interested in that information. Is that right? Well, I'd be careful if I were you. Careful? I'm not without defenses, if you know what I mean. Defenses? Is that a threat? Are you threatening to write about me? I didn't say anything. <laughs> Martyr yourself? What? Don't you if want you to help? help? There's a killer out there. Who only kills people I write about. So I stop writing about people. Problem solved. They can kill cars. You know, so. you know what? Go right ahead. What do you mean? You want to write so bad? Write about me. Dust off that typewriter and get to work. <laughs> Not but he does want to write. Listen, I spoke out of turn. I didn't honestly mean. Hell with that. Just do it. Hey, this is dangerous. I know what I'm doing. I can't do it. Like hell you can't. You've been writing for how? 30 years? More? I know you can do it. I want to meet this thing head on. It's the only way. Do it. You don't know what you're asking. Me? What's the worst that could happen? You, you die. Could die. Oh. Is that all? But. Quiet. Quiet. Right. Yep. I was born in Troy, upstate New York. My mother's name was Patricia. My father. You getting this stuff down? <laughs> Well, I hope you're happy. I'm never happy. Do 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 do. Oh, is this how? She was crazy. Yeah. I don't think so. Or how she stuck with hey. her niece. <laughs> well, her parents died. Oh, she wrote about her parents. Wrote about her brother and sister, probably. We're supposed to be a team. You can't make this kind of decision without asking me first. Button it, Joey. If this broad's a medium like me, then I have some questions for her. If I'm gonna end up like that, I wanna know. And if she kills you for your trouble? Well, then I won't have to worry. And what happens to me, huh? You die, what the heck happens to me? You'll move on to whoever's next. That's how it works, doesn't it? It's not about that. Maybe you'll end up with my baby brother. I'm sure you guys will get along great. Yeah, great. When do you think she'll get here? I don't know. I feel her coming, though. She knows who I am. <laughs> how can you feel that? I just do. She was right. She's like me. Maybe mediums call out to each other. You lean with the countess. So... Any thought on how to handle her? Nope. Distract her with music and TV. I just want yeah. to talk to her. Well, she can see and hear me, so I can help. You're not alone. Yeah. You understand? You're not alone. I'm tired, Joey. I'm so tired. All right. I'll just leave you to it. Yeah. Wait. No. No. She's here. So I want to see. Light of her to knock.
these. Maybe there's a connection. Joey, come here. Yeah, doll. That old. How could I don't know? Only I don't. I don't know. Jerry, pardon. I can't explain. Well, if you. That's it for now. Yeah, we'll talk more. Well. Throw an ash can at her. Yep. Give her a jacket. Please. I, I know you. Yes, you know me. Come in. I'm watching you. So, what's your story? I want to help you. Help me, huh? You're in pain? Lost? I can help. So, guys. <laughs> Who are you? I am the Countess. Do you have a she guide? Died. A spirit <laughs> guide? I still feel her. She is gone, but not completely gone. What do you mean? Kid, her mind is snapped. She's not gonna make any sense. Yes. She snapped my mind. She went away and my world expanded. I see everything. Everything! It hurts! You're bonded Mitchell? with Joseph Mitchell. Is that his name? The guide who is not a guide? Yes. The non-guide. <laughs> the non-guide. He to the world. He spoke to me. He tells me what to do. Oh, he is so often silent. It's been years since I heard his voice. But tonight, I heard him. He told me <laughs> to help you. He didn't tell you that. Why else would I be here? I... I'm here to help you. You're here to kill me. No! I don't kill! I will set you free! Hey, watch it, lady. Who <laughs> was your spirit guide? She had a name. I no longer know. I wish I knew. I cannot think. Not without her. Why did she leave? Why? Where is your spirit guide now? I don't know. Her voice is gone. I'm lost. I found that other voice, but he is so quiet. You mean Mitchell? The true guide. She is gone. Gone. Did she How did she Me? go away? I don't know. She found a way. Why did she do that? Were you like me before your spirit guide went away? Like you? You know, sane. Joey. I was happy. I was smaller, saw the world in muted colors, and there was music. Sweet music. We helped people. She it away. felt good. I guess so. Now she is green. Gone. Now I help people, but it feels bad. Will I become like you? Please tell me. That's all I want to know. You? You are loved. Loved? Loved by who? You are in pain, my child. Let me help you. <laughs> yes. I'd like to help you instead. Help me? I need no help. You need to be free. Hey. Hey! Let her go, you damn it! I can't fight her, Laura. What are you doing? That's not. Where's my lit cigarette? <laughs> oh dear. All right. That's what happens when you mess with us. Stay away from her. No, oh my God. he needs my help. Hey, you want to help someone? Why don't you help me? You want to free a spirit? Well, I'm the real McCoy. You? Yeah, that's right. Come and save me. I'm right here. I... I... Wait. I'm supposed to help her. Oh! My head! <laughs> oh, dear. I'm waiting.
waiting. I'll save you. No! The connection is gone! I cannot save you, but I can still save her. Hey! I said hey! I need help! Help? I'm in pain. What are you gonna do about it? I can help you. I... The bond! <laughs> it's gone! I can't reach you. Her. There is still time to save her. Hey. Hey! If anyone needs saving, it's me. You need... You're past your prime. I don't think you can handle it. <laughs> I... I can't. The guide. Oh, no, you don't. You leave her alone. It's me you want. I do? Yes. Anything for the Lord. <laughs> Why do you move so far? You don't need help. Huh? Hey. I need help. <laughs> Come on. You need Come on, take me to the place with the bright light. I can help you. You're so good at helping. Let's see you. I will set you free. Oh, woe is me. I'm in so much torment. Save me, damn you. <laughs> Are you hurting? Why do you, you don't no. hurt? Hey. No. I need help. Come on. Yo. I'm wait. Uh. I'm in. I can. You're past your. You. Well, come on. What are you waiting for? I. I want to help you. Why won't you let me help you? Joey? Can I do anything? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't look, is she? Yeah. There's no... No ghost. She's gone. Gone. I killed her. It was either her or you, darling. You made the right choice. Did I? What if What if that's me one day, huh? What if I'm old and confused and alone? You <laughs> won't be alone. I'll make sure of that. You say that now. But look at her. Her guide was gone. I can't speak for the future, kid. Maybe someday we'll meet someone like her, and then maybe we'll find out more. But right here, right now, I'm here, and I'm staying put. That's something, isn't it? <laughs> I believe we just pushed her down. Isn't it? Is this a bad ending? Am I supposed to yeah, do something else? it's something. I think so. I feel like there should have been a better ending. This is a bad idea. You don't need to do this. Hello? Hi. Jack? Lauren? Sis, is that you? Yeah, Jack. It's me. Where have you been? It's not important. I miss you. Tell me about your life, Jack. How's Maria? When's the wedding? This is a really bad idea. Why is it a super bad when idea? The sun sits quietly the sea. I don't know. There is way too much talking in this one. Well, 
I don't know, it didn't have the zoomed in faces like it did in the last game. That's right. That takes a lot of work. And I didn't even notice, honestly. I did. I liked it. Can't believe we just pushed the old woman off. I, I feel like. It's okay, she didn't have a soul. For some reason. No, I think there's only certain ghosts that come back. For some reason, she accepted her death pretty readily. Makes sense. Well, not all dead people come back as ghosts. People who are troubled. Yes, I don't know. I'm really wondering if there was a better ending. There's two endings in the last one. Yeah. One where we saved the guy from the demon, and one where the demon just took him. But that wasn't really an ending, right? That was a failure. No, we still ended the game. There's a cutscene and everything. And we had to type in the whole bunch of I games into it. Real ugly. <laughs> nice. Is that like a timer? Cigarettes? I think so. When the sun sits quietly or the sea. What the? What's this for us? Oh, it's a tour. Oh, nice. Enter Yes, so. Bye. Bye. <laughs> well, that's it for this Blackwell game. I'm still curious if there's another ending, but whatever. Time for bed. I don't know how else you do anything different. You probably have to say something different. There wasn't any rocks to pick up or anything. That was. I don't know, that's kind of the point of the game, wasn't it? For her to kill? I think so. I swear, like, if... It was just... Like, she didn't have a ghost. So, the only way they could have ever dealt with her was just disposing of the body. She wasn't technically a person, according to the game, I think. Yeah, so, wouldn't the police have something to say? They'd be like, hey, there's this dead woman sitting right underneath your balcony. It's the 70s. Some drifter did it. Drifter. Drifter killed the drifter. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That was that. Yep. Until another time. Two more. Do you think it's gonna be with Lauren, or...? I don't know. I wasn't really sure why they went back for this one. Just a change of scenery, I guess. I guess so. Just so they can deal with murders. Situation. I guess they were just trying to deal with, like, I don't know, probably history of what happened. Yes. Yeah. Well, whatever. I can figure out more next time. Next time. Good night. Good night.